Hey, we're back. We hey, we made it back. Did. We have some potions. We're not gonna have to worry about crazy poisoning. Um. So yeah, let's just. I. We don't need to. We don't need to mess around. Let's just get right back into it. Someone touch wood so that we don't actually jinx ourselves. There you go. Knock on wood. Sure did. Yes, um, did. do we want to continue with Tower of Spirits or do we want to like bounce a little? Let's bounce, bounce a little bit. To where? I say witchcraft. I'm probably going to instantly regret my decision because I think that was the same decision I chose last time. Well, we're going to find out. Uh, let me it just happened. pull up the guide again to make sure that we're... Oh, yeah, because I could do this now. We have our Duma pick again. Yeah, okay, we're back to this. We, we got a lot done. Good lord. We did. That is, that is a lot. Um, cool. Okay, I think we need to get to floor two then. Let's go. And now, we're just going to do it again to see how much of this floor we did. Less. The answer is just less. Less, 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 less. Okay, so... Alright, let's see if I can... Let's, let's navigate, shall we? And then that's a dead end, so... I know it might look weird that I intentionally run into dead ends now and again, but I use, like, those bits of dead end as navigational things. I love how they make it so that, like, you see the, the like, the the silhouette of, a, of an insect flying at you, and then suddenly ma fairies. Yep, fairies. Because that makes absolute sense. Mooney's just like, the chest isn't trapped, and then Angel's just like, I'm just gonna open it. Yes, let's just open it. Just open the thing. Who cares? Alright, Fairy Ranger. Nope. Well, that was, uh, that was an encounter. That was 166 XP for that literally was... zero effort. That was a thing. I'm reminded of, like, one of my favorite jokes from watching, like, the Awesome Games Done Quick streams. You see a friendly Ms. Elixir! Where they just raffle stomp bosses and they're like, yep, and that was a boss. All right, so yes. wait, how the hell did we get in there again? Oh, I totally went the wholly entirely wrong way, but that's okay. Map map completion, right? Right. Absolutely. Those are not oracles. That is a hobbit having a grand old time. We let the Hobbit vibe. Actually, we're gonna take the Hobbit's lunch money, but, you know. We're just gonna take his pocket money. Uh, we got three fairy ninjas and two fairy mages.
So what you're saying is we set him on fire. I, I mean, uh, that that can be arranged. Ow. We could try a second breath attack from Shuri, but I think it might fail because she's tired. Stop letting me Shuri's breathe sinking. fire! Yeah, it definitely dealt way less damage this time. Okay, good. It's real nice to actually, like, be able to follow a map and have it actually be correct. Oh, yeah. More fairy ninjas. Fairy ninjas. Yee. Yeah. We are accomplishing much. <laughs> We're accomplishing thing. We're actually making progress. And then this is just a one. But we're going to have some company. A man in a robe and two fairy bards. Only room for one bard in this place. Get him. Wow, that afraid status really lasted a long while. I was just like, oh no, Zephyr's afraid. Oh, oh, they cast, they cast a, an AC curse spell. Cause look at her ACs, they're terrible. Oh no. Zephyr, Zephyr is currently actually easier to hit than an unarmored adventurer right now. I I'm squishy, please don't hurt me. Okay, I killed him. It's fine. Fear. Instant fear. Oops, poison needle. Angel is poisoned. Oh, hey, look. We, we just got stuck with a little poison needle. Just drink that up. Wow, that was incredibly convenient. How convenient. Like, like we did a little bit of, like, pre preparation for dungeoning? Yes. What? Stepping. All right, good job on that surprise round, guys. We didn't hit him at all, did we? No, no, no. They, we got surprised. Yeah. We got surprised, and they decided to swing at the two party members with the best armor class and accomplished nothing. And then those same two party members responded by killing the two warriors in a single shot, so. Look, it wasn't the most graceful action that you took, but we will tell your family that you died a warrior's death. That's how it works. 
Ouch. Entering the room, you hit a wall of humidity and a staggering wave of heat. Toward the back of the small room, you can hear the sound of a raging fire. Could this be a boiler room? If so, you need to turn it down or stop it altogether before you risk passing out from the heat. I don't remember consenting to being in a Hercules movie. Do not enter! There is an incinerator burning with vigor. This looks like a thing that we should be touching. Rather than the quaint boiler you had expected, you see something like a ridiculously large incinerator. In front of it are several human forms throwing things into the flames in a frustrated manner. One of them takes notice of you. Hey! Can't you read the writing on the sign? That was a boss. It was a boss. Was. Inside the raging inferno within the oven, you catch sight of a card. Surrounded so absolutely by flames that it seems to float. Found card. We just... One of our dumbasses reached into that furnace to get that card. Uh, it was me. I'm the dumbass. I was going to say... <laughs> It's me. Hi, I'm the dumbass. It's me. Though, so if that turns out being a recovery card, then we're going to be like, yep. OK, look, if that was a recovery card, we're not going to call you a dumbass for it. Just going to be like, no, that was brilliant. That was unmitigated excellence. All right. So now we Why need to go recovery card? to. Oh, oh, good. We get to go do. Um, so, hey, I'm just going to warn you that the guide says that the next event that we're going to do is a little bit uncomfortable. So how uncomfortable? I don't know. Like... It just says you might get a little uncomfortable. Oh, so, hey, please look forward to it. Hey, okay. it's going to be fine. Actually, no, we're not doing that yet. It's the next event. So we're I, gonna. I mean, we we could always just change realities again. You guys seem to enjoy that the last time. True. Look, oh. I nearly I nearly threw up on this new armor of mine when you did that last time. Which I'm not even mad at you for because I understand it's a thing that's beyond your control. But by God. It smells of trees. Whee. Trees. In front of you is a monumental tree as large as it is ancient. The tree extends up to the ceiling and there spreads its branches in four directions, creating an all shading canopy. From the fresh green leaves, you know this tree is no snag. As you are gazing upward, you notice a tangled mass of ivy and small branches not too far up the tree. Caught inside the tangle is something like a small bug. On closer inspection, however, you see that it is a fairy. Unable to break from the tangle, the fairy is shouting something as it struggles violently. Wanting to save the poor fairy from its hellish wooden prison, you approach the giant tree. Only then do you make out what the fairy is screaming. Don't come any closer! It's a trap! Just get out of here! Will you help the fairy? Duh. Here's Getting the question. Close to... Is that going to... <laughs> Go ahead. Go on. Getting close to the tree, you cut away the bramble. Suddenly, as though feeling the blows, the tree begins to move. 
I was about to say, is this going to come and bite us in the ass? We <laughs> invited no. forest giants to the party. Didn't we invite leaves the last time? This is a different encounter. Oh, this this could be this could actually really suck. Oh no. This could this could mmm. Okay. Uh Mooney, you're gonna hide, okay? But I wanna beat up the tree. You're gonna ambush the tree, okay? Okay, fine. It's only one forest giant. How bad could it be? Okay, so Mooney, the reason I told you to hide is your fight has become ambushed. Is that a good thing? It, it is. It's basically ninja ambush. Yeah, it's bonus damage and bonus accuracy. I'll allow it. Except Sherry killed it before you could. Mother. Why didn't you run? I told you it was a trap. Gosh. Well, thanks. I'm getting out of here. Don't push yourself too hard. So saying, the fairy flies off. You feel like you have done a good deed. Drunk hey. with cheer, the fragrant branches of the tree lie scattered all about your feet. <laughs> what? What? It what good. translation is that? It smells good. Well, we got a wood block. Oh, the fragrant sandalwood block that we carried around with us. That we couldn't do anything with last time. That we can now do thing with. Because yeah, nothing exactly. screwed up, so... Yay! An herbalist and three squires, and the squires were like, yo. See, my, my goal is I just want to get... I want to get Shuri high enough level that her breath attack becomes an AoE. Because that is a thing that happens. Alright, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Diamond squeezies. Not a lot of XP, but that's to be expected for how little effort that took. Door still blurred! You know what? I almost feel bad for having to murder them because their fashion game is on point. Ooh, I love the wings too. But, but alas, yeah, their fashion game is like on point. Yeah. But alas, we must. But alas, they ran into the wrong group of murder hobos. Exactly. Moiter hobos. We're just gonna commit moiter. Moiters. Actually, <laughs> they ignored both Shuri's breath and Angel's fireball. Oh. Well, you know what? There we go. It took a little more effort than... Thanks, upstairs neighbors. I was gonna say, it was, I thought that was your soundboard. No, that was... that was the sound of furniture moving. Yeah. An oracle and two Ms. Elixirs. Ow. Rod of Raising?! Wait, what? Damn, I want that! Give me the Rod of Raising, because that sounds like it's probably really good. And if it's not really good, it's probably expensive as hell. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, and then the unfortunate part is that since Zephyr took damage before using her her Dragon Breath drink, it lowered the damage it dealt. Oopsie. Yeah, they keep talking about Ms. Elixir having a rod of raising, so I would love to actually get that. Please let there be a staff or a, a wand in this chest. Mooney says poison needle. Angel just got poison because she just accidentally tripped it. Whoops. Boy, it would it would be terrible if you know we had this this potion that Oh look at that! Oh my god, it's so convenient. Oh yeah, there is so much in this. So this is a two room? Okay, now I know where we are. And then this goes up and this is a little low B1 B room, and it's fine. Four fairy bards. And I'm just laughing in my head because like Four bards show up, and then I just hear Angel going, Excuse? Readying a fireball. Basically, that's how it works. Wow. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Look at our armor class. Look at, look at. I am per, I am perceiving. How the, f we are so easy to hit right now. We're gonna get herded. Nah, never mind. We went first. Alright, so we go down here, there's another room, there's one to the north, one to the south, the one to the north, I think, is just a Tubi room. We're gonna have to go back to town soon, because Angel's almost out of fireballs. Oh, and now they're doing freaking. Who are these men in armor that are casting AoEs? They do not know. Alright, I'm going to. Uh... Sorry about that, I zoned out for a little bit. I'm gonna make sure you don't die, because uh, you're kind of hurting right now. Oh, great. Then again, what am I not hurting? That's that's the question. Is like, what am I not? Wait, why am I having you cast Dragon Breath when it's going to do two damage? Well, I tried to heal you. Yep. There is the unfortunate fact that I'm not very good at it yet. You'll get there. You will. All right, the man in our the last man in armor was like, "Oh fuck!" and left. And we got the devil's experience points. That's funny.
doesn't one of the... I was about to say, didn't we have somebody learn the trap spell? Let's... Here, here, Shuri... Shuri says it's a bomb. Mooney also says it's bomb. That's good enough for me. Let's just presume it's a bomb. Oh, now it's nothing. We got a helm and strange item? Strange item? Wait, is that strange normal is that? in the loot table? I... Does that mean it needs to be identified? It, well, all of the question mark stuff needs to be identified. Yeah. It's just, I've never seen something actually labeled strange item, which is really fascinating to me and i'm kind of yeah i i'm curious i'm also very curious that's kind of neat also you know what as tempting as it would be to continue with the uh, exploration we're gonna let's just we are kind of hurting yeah let's uh kind of so we're gonna right yeah we need to we need to leave and then i think it's literally just walk let's walk all right we have a ton of stuff to go through but first things first, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna stay. And I'm pretty sure I leveled, so... I did. I need to see Vitality, or we're redoing it. Oh, new spells? Amazing. Hey, IQ, Piety... Nope. Mwah, mwah. New spells, Strength. Piety. Vitality. Okay, it can stay. Three hit points. Neat. Neato. New spells. And a hit point. Wow. One hit point. Not even, like, stats or anything. Just one hit point. New spells. IQ. Agility, luck, one hit point. All right, now I'm cu Oh, my armor class naturally went down again. Now I'm curious because Damn it. Mm. Wow. All right, we have expensive stuff on us. We do. Yeah, because generally the cost to identify something is also a really good indicator of how good something is. Yeah. So, but the card, the card, the card will tell our past, our present, and our future as well. Dang. Just take three. Uh, God, the earring at the song stuck in my head. I'm going to hate you both. No, you're not. It's a good song. It it's is. It's an amazing it song. song. All right. Now, I have an idea that's going to save us so much time and effort, if I am correct. Red card? Damn. Okay, I thought it was- I was hoping that was a recovery card, but no, that's a plot item. I found a plot item? You sure did. Cool. I mean, while I'm here, Zephyr, please feel better. Zephyr, please feel what? better. I'm trying so hard. 
And he got so far. Wait, since when do I have- Wait, 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 what the hell? Um... Alright, I can now cause insanity to a group. I can see secret Ooh. doors, and I can cure insanity. Huh, that's exciting. We have so much stuff to identify that it's going to take multiple trips. Woo! It was a pretty fruitful trip. Scented wood. Mmm, sandalwood. A halberd? I think that is actually an upgrade for Shuri, finally. A scroll of armor curse. A steel helmet, which is a lord item. Actually, I think it's also a Valkyrie item. It is. And now the strange item is a lantern. I'm so disappointed. I'm assuming it's just an upgraded torch. Yep. That's a bit of a shame. A... We were we were really wanting something good out of that. Yeah. A sleep spell and a shadow cape. All right. But on the positive side, I don't think everybody has shadow capes because we started running out of them. So, hey, it's look, a good thing. it's it's an upgrade. For, for Sephir. Yay! Yay! Butterfly axe. Huh. Huh. It a butterfly axe. So is that axe just gonna like fold open and close? I don't know. It, it's like a butterfly yeah. knife, but bigger. Okay, okay, that's interesting. All right, uh, this can go, and then this can go, that's good money. And then the steel helm we're keeping, we need this, this can go. It's funny because that's, that scroll we just sold for 500 gold is a spell that Voss can cast himself. So, useless scroll? Kinda. Well, no, it became it became money, and that's what matters. Sure. Money matters. It does. Especially if we're gonna, like, die again. Alright, so what we're gonna do... All right. I'm going to hold on to the steel helm because what's going to happen is we're going to get Voss out of the party for now and get Shuri back in, partially because we have upgrades for her and partially because um
We're gonna see if that... We're gonna see if that frickin... Axe is... Cursed. Also, Zephyr, you have a cape now. Yay! Alright. Backup save. It's not cursed. And that steel helm pushes Shuri into negative armor class. Ooh. Yeah. That's very good. Negative Actually, means you're almost untouchable. Yep. Oh, Shuri started. Shuri is now getting into like the good. Latuma the pick is death. the identify buff. Lamilla is starlight. Dialco is cure paralysis. So now we're getting into now we're getting into the interesting stuff. Woo. And that halberd, now we could just sell the halberd. So that's a that's a big upgrade. That's 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 stonky. So much stonk. Wow, that is a lot of money for that halberd. So that halberd's good. Mooney, are you okay with... Do you, do you think Shuri would be okay with a butterfly-themed dex? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I think she'd just be like, yeah, I vibe with this. Oh, yeah, very much. All right. And now we do the healing dance again. Actually, hold the frickin' phone. Just hold the phone. Hold, hold Holding it. Mm. Oh, sorry, I got a phone call. Nat? <laughs> we have 1,600 gold apiece. Can we afford to actually, like, sleep in a proper bed? Yes. It's a little expensive, but we're doing it anyway. Luxury! We're going to the Merchant Suites, baby! God, those beds are probably, like, really crazy soft. Well, probably not as soft as, like, the ones in the Royal Suite, though. I bet the Royal Suite beds are, like, almost unbearable because you, like, lay down on one and then you sink into it. <laughs> That's true. Can you imagine trying to roll out of that? Like, I you'd, can. You, do, you do not go to the Royal Suite bed and get in bed alone. Because you try to roll out of it and it's like, help, I'm drowning, help, help. And that's where the dip happens. Yep. But hey, look at us. We, we're actually doing okay. We're actually, Yay! like, armor classes have gone down. We have more spells. We were actually able to get, like, a decent night's sleep for once. Good. I was getting tired of having hay stuck in my hair every morning. You have a lot of it to brush out, so... 40,000 XP away before I get that last point of vitality I need, and I do not care how much we save scum for it. Um, for, for how long we've been on this journey for that particular class, yeah, let's, uh, I don't care how, how long it takes to save scum to get that one single point of vitality. Yep. Uh, you know what? 
we're 40 minutes in. We can, we can, we could save here and call that episode because. Yeah. Let's start fresh with the dungeon crawl the next time. So we're yes. not like just doing 20 minutes of exploring. Yeah. yeah. Cause I was like, we could go do the training grounds and raffle stomp that for five minutes. But at this point it's not worth it unless, cause you got to remember when I did it last trip, to get everybody caught up, it took me five hours. Wait, We're was not... that the one during that nasty save yes. situation? Yes. Uh, I spent five hours leveling everybody up. Because the XP is, like, not worth it in that space. Yeah, like, once we get to the second half of the game, the XP is great. Like, mm -hmm. like, it gets to the point where, like, during the last couple of dungeons, the game, like, all the guys are like, yeah, once you get to these dungeons, you're looking at forty to 200,000 XP an encounter for a full party. I mean, good luck surviving them, but... Anyways, as always, links in the description. Y'all know what to do with the links. I mean, you're probably just going to ignore them, but if you clicked them, I would be... I would... I would... I would be pogging. I would... I would be going nuts. Also, don't forget to support, you know, Mooney and Zephyr because they also do the streaming thing. And, uh, you know, there's also new merch in the merch store. That's always a big deal. But anyways, thank you for watching. We will see you next game. Bye.